Okay, this is a fun worksheet. And um, I pulled out my dominoes because I just also wanted to show you some other fun ways, um, other manipulatives that you can use. So a manipulative is basically just a tool that you use to help with um, a skill. Specifically, a lot of manipulatives are used in math to help with math skills, whatever that is. There's so many out there, but there's so much that we have at our house that we can use. Um, but I just wanted to show fun ways to do things um, with math, with, you know, different, you know, items that you may have at home. And you're probably getting tired of um, what makes a 10. But man, if we could just know this skill and why it makes 10, then it's just going to become um, really easy when we do um, more difficult and challenging math problems. So with this domino fun, um, the directions say look at each number sentence. Okay, so again, um, another term for a number sentence is equation. So we can look at the equation, all right, and we have a missing number here. So 4 plus what gives us 10? You're going to write the given number in the box and then cut out our domino pieces and glue them here. So where it says paste here, then you're going to write the number here, okay? So um, I'm going to do the first one um, with, well, I'll do the first two with you guys. Um, but then I'm going to show you some different ways that you can use these domino pieces. Okay, so we have four plus what gives us 10. So there's several different ways if they don't know that um, right off the bat. You can put uh, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you could put ten here and you can say, give me four. And then how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. They can go about it that way. Okay. They can start with the number four and stop at 10. So they can go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. How many fingers do I have? That's six. Um, they can go 10 and then take away four. So they could go 10, nine, eight, seven, six. There are several different ways that they can come up with the partner. And we know that that is six. I really discourage um, saying that there's only one way to do that because I want them to understand the concept, not just to, not just rote memorization. I don't want them to just memorize that four plus six equals 10. I want them to understand and get how do they get there. They need to find the way to get there. What makes sense in their brains may be different on what makes sense in my brain to get to 10. It may make difference. It may be different on how you would get to 10. So however they get there, whatever they use to get there is fine. Um, as long as they understand why four plus six equals 10, okay? Um, and then they're going to find the number six, which is right there, and they're going to glue that right here, okay? So now we have 10 plus 8. Well, if you notice, we have two blank spots. So um, we have to figure out what we're going to put right here. So if we have 8, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then we have, how many do we have left over? Two. So we're going to say that two plus eight equals 10. Well, we know that two, where is there two? There's two. So two goes here. And then we're going to write the number eight right there. That is how we do this. Um, I'm pretty sure that... Um, you guys are gonna 
breeze through this fairly quickly. Okay, so with dominoes, if you happen to have domino pieces, there's so you can play the game of dominoes, which is a really good way um, to just, you know, do math. Have them add. Um, so have them add, you know, a seven plus six and how many. Um, you can turn this into um, a math mountain. So basically, this is what we would do. This would be the bottom of the mountain. Okay, have them count all the dots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 would go up there, okay, and then we already know what numbers would go right here because we have the line, okay, so we have six, we have 7 and 6, and then we can pretend that these are the tiny tumblers, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then have them count um, all the way. Make sure that this side plus this side equals that 13. And there you go. You can do um, a matching game, finding partners. So, you know, what are our daily doubles? So this is seven. And then I have another daily double, so I'm going to put those two together. And what is 7 plus 7? Again, it's just like, you know, the game of dominoes, but it's um, finding specific numbers. Um, maybe you wanted to find specific, like, partners of 10. So we have 6, and then ask them, what, how much more do I need to get to 10? And then you can see if they have it. Maybe they do have it. And so maybe they would say they can, you know, put it anyway. 6 plus 4 equals 10. 6 plus 4 equals 10. Maybe you can play the game with um, you and um, your child. And let's say you don't have um, the game is to try to get rid of all of your domino pieces as quick as possible. Be the first one to get rid of your domino pieces. And so maybe they didn't have the 4. Um and um, they have seven, um, what do they need to make 10? And maybe they didn't have the three, and so they would have to pick another domino piece, and then it would be the next person's turn. So there's different fun ways that you can play games with. You can do the same concept with a deck of cards. Um, so just have fun with um, the things that you have around the house. You don't have to just do worksheets and um, play around with this.